Hey, look, look, morning doves. How many do you see? Ecologist James Castra loves to bird watch. He can spend hours gazing into trees to identify specific breeds. Three morning doves. Here, he's taking part in the Christmas bird count, a tradition that started in the year 1900. It's something he's been doing for more than 50 years. The birds they count could help paint an important picture, says Castra, that is shaped in part by a changing climate. So the milder winters is certainly allowing many more species to winter here, like a red-bellied woodpecker. It's a beautiful woodpecker. 30 years ago, we didn't even have them here. It was a more southern woodpecker. Adding to this is El Nino, a weather pattern that has brought warmer temperatures to much of North America this year. Keeping an eye on bird populations reveals how they're being impacted, says Birds Canada. If a species or a species group appears to be declining, that's sort of an early warning system for us and lets us know that um, we need to give it some conservation attention. Atia says it's important work, taking place in more than 2,000 locations in the Western Hemisphere by a growing demographic of bird watching enthusiasts. We're seeing more folks that are um, from different backgrounds and they're just feeling more welcome in these spaces. Do you hear anything? Chickadees? Younger folks too, like Maria O'Sullivan, on her first Christmas bird count. All right, better mark it down, don't want to lose it. I get to meet a lot of great people who are very knowledgeable. I get to learn about birds and they're kind of like wild Pokemon, so. <laughs> Experts say attracting younger birders is key to keeping the tradition and important research alive. Idil Moussa, CBC News, Port Perry, Ontario.